this is what happens when you run the application. Uh, it waits for a key, and once you hit the key, then you should hear uh, Homer speak. Um, there's only so many things that I, that I have done in the program as far as commands, and we'll go over that. Right now, you can just basically tell it um, to exit, quit. You can say Homer and uh, you can use the, the pre-existing code uh, that I got off the website that will mold, add numbers together. So let's run it and see what happens. My name is Homer. If you have a question, just say, question. Question. You have a question? What is 1 plus 1? One? 1 plus 1 equals 2. Question. You have a question? What is 9 times 9? <laughs> As you can see, it doesn't know how to deal with that, which is fine. You've, you've got to program that into it. Anyway, let's go into details on uh, what this is all about with the code. Okay, this is the code that I got off of MSDN website by you, uh, Dr. James McCaffrey. Uh, I added some things to make it a little bit more robust. Uh, I also had to tweak the code so the speech engine, uh, uh, text to speak engine would work. Uh, obviously in 2014 things were a little bit different from Microsoft's API standpoint and uh, this happens all the time. It's been happening for 20 years and um, things sometimes work and then they don't. So the secret sauce with that was this. Uh, I guess it has to do with the fact that Cortana is taking over the operating system and I was getting uh, exceptions running this code when I would try to have the speech engine say something. So um, uh, the other thing is, is this project is the code is relatively simple but the integration trying to get all the DLLs and the frameworks installed uh, was uh, a hassle so you may not have uh, very good results on your end and I apologize for that but this uh, is basically um, you know Microsoft's doing okay with that note if you still want to stick with Microsoft and use their native or quasi native API functionality with speak recognition uh, I would recommend it. If all you're trying to do is build uh, a, a voiced uh, command system, then this is a real quick way to do it on Windows 10, C Sharp, and uh, Visual Studio 2015. If you want to get a little bit more elaborate, then you may have to look at my other video with the Google APIs and uh, look at their assistant that's coming out. Again, that's a moving target too and things might not work eventually. Anyway, uh, so this is just a simple console application and what we have is the, speaks, uh, the speech recognition engine and then we have the speech synthesis engine. So the, speak, uh, the speech recognition engine uh, figures out what it thinks you are saying and the uh, synth engine is what we use to say something back to the user. So in the previous video, a part of the video you saw where you have to hit the, any key and right in here we say something. So uh, I gave the agent uh, a name called Homer. It's silly but it works. Uh, uh, now what we're doing is we're uh, hooking up the speech recognition engine and setting the default audio device and then hooking up this event right here that uh, the engine uses uh, when it recognizes something uh, to call this function right in here. And this is almost identical to what comes, comes out of the uh, code that you can get off the site. 
Uh, the next thing is we have speech on and off, uh, goodbye, exit, quit, and Homer, and question. And these are the things that you can say to the engine and it will uh, uh, try to respond back. So the way uh, Microsoft World, wor World works is they have this grammar builder. So we're basically building separate grammars for what we're trying to accomplish here. So these are, uh, we are simple commands. Now these commands might be different than another type of grammar uh, that you want. And that is kind of cool uh, with this example here. So I uh, have uh, partitioned this off and said, hey, this is the start-stop grammar. Uh, then we have the, uh, you know, what is X plus X grammar? And this was just pulled directly out of the demo, but it was uh, kind of fascinating to where you can, you know, add numbers or you could expand this and maybe do compound commands. Uh, we add these grammars to the uh, uh, recognition engine and then we turn the recognition on and we just sit in this loop. Now this is a very simple example. We probably need a state machine. Uh, we need maybe an, a more elaborate event handler uh, and we can do some object oriented um, uh, code cleanup but that would just make the project way more complicated for just trying to figure out how their API works. So this is the method that gets called when the engine thinks it heard something. And uh, if we have a pretty uh, a low confidence, we just return. Now this is what happens when uh, you get this text buffer back and it has take, the engine has taken your voice and converted it into text and now we can parse the, that text stream. Uh, and right now we're just doing index of. I'm, I'm going trying to go fast because I want to have this all in one video. Sorry about that. Now this is where some of the secret sauce uh, happens that I added. Since we have a speech synthesis engine and we have a speech recognition engine, well if you have a microphone and you have speakers next to each other, you're going to get a feedback loop. Basically, when the uh, synth, speech synth says something, well, the recognition engine is going to think it heard something and this, uh, this event is going to fire back up. So the secret sauce was, hey, turn off the recognizer while we're responding back uh, to the person. So we put something through the console and then we say, okay, farewell. Then uh, we respond to Homer, and then you can see this pattern over and over again. We resp we find Homer, and then we say, oh, okay, uh, you said this, blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, as you notice, uh, down here, you have to turn the synthesis, the recognizer back on. So when you're saying goodbye, quit, kill the program, whatever, we're not going to turn the recognition engine back on. Uh, but if we want the system to keep going, that we have to turn it back on after we say what we're going to say. So I'm running out of time on this video uh, with the software I'm using to record it. I hope you guys found this useful and I would strongly suggest using the Microsoft Voice API and software if uh, all you need to do is run on Windows 10 and use C Sharp. Uh, it really works well uh, and uh, I think uh, it's a great example to start off with. Thanks a lot.